Yesterday's assignment, you guys went through a tutorial that showed you uh, some real basic steps to create a floor plan from scrap. Here we are going to now create a floor plan that isn't necessarily from scratch where um, you know, you're, you're drawing every single line all on your own, every measurement. We're going to go from a picture. So here's a picture and I'll attach this picture to your Google Classroom assignment. And we're going to kind of trace this and make this um, a floor plan that we can also turn three dimensional from this JPEG. Uh, so I have this, you can download yours to the desktop. That's what I did. You can see it's right over here. That's just what it looks like. But now we're going to open up a new SketchUp window. <coughs> Forgive me for clearing my throat here. I'm um, kind of getting sick. Architectural design feet and inches. Uh, when we're doing these floor plans, I feel like that's probably your best bet. Start SketchUp. First thing I want to do is import. And that's on my desktop. Right now it's set to these AutoCAD files when we were doing that for our 3D game pieces. And I want to, oops, a JPEG. There it is. So you can see, and that woman gives us a little bit of perspective there. I'm going to put it right in the corner that it's not nearly big enough. And now, so I clicked once in the center, and now it's telling me to click a second point. So I'm just going to try to guess based on the size of that person. And I also have these numbers over here. <clears throat> Maybe right in there. And we're going to size that in just a moment, so we don't need to worry about that. You can leave her there if you want. That's totally your call. But we're going to start doing some uh, scaling of this now. A lot of different ways to think about how to do this, but our overall plan here says that it is 38, and that's talking about not just this wall, but the overall width of the entire house is 38 feet, 7 inches. The overall length of the entire house is 44 feet, 11 inches. And so we're going to go ahead and use that for our scale. And if it doesn't work, we'll just retry it. So we go over and grab our tape measure tool. And let's go, we'll start in this corner. I like to zoom in to try to be as accurate as I possibly can. And I want to make this on the red axis. And right now that's 55 feet 7 inches, so I was a little off on my guess. Zoom back out, I clicked there to end that. And now I'm going to type 44, label it, feet, 11 inches. Hit enter. Do you want to resize? Yes, I do. Okay, now let's check some stuff out. How did we do? 44, 10 and a quarter. Pretty good. Let's check out some of our rooms to see if they came out to the way that they're supposed to. This bedroom is supposed to be 12 and a half feet by 12 feet. I'm very close to 12 that way. <clears throat> and a sixteenth of an inch off from 12 six that way. So I would say things turned out pretty good from our scaling. Um, I'm happy with that. Now we need to, as you can see when I click on this once, the whole thing comes together. So that means that it is grouped. Right click, explode, and make it a little bit more interactive. And at this point now, we're going to start tracing all these walls. And I don't want to say just go ahead and knock yourself out, go crazy tracing. Um, we want to have a little bit of accuracy to what we do. And so we're going to use some offset tools and some things like that to try to make it as organized as we possibly can. So first we'll grab a rectangle tool. And kind of a weird corner there. So let's go to the inside. I'm going to go all the way over here. That one's a little bit easier to be accurate with. And let's just check and see how we did with dimensions. So the outside is obviously a little bit bigger because that number 44 is not including the thickness of our exterior walls. So we're pretty close. You can see here we got a little problem. So let's just fix that with a line tool. A 
cut that corner off. And I can erase it. So now what I have is the ability to kind of start tracing this. Oh, forgot, didn't even see this up in the front here. I got to fix that. So let's grab a rectangle tool. Try to line that up real close. And then I can get rid of that. And now you can see when I click on that, I get the whole house, including the wall thicknesses, all the way around, just exactly where I want to be. <clears throat> now, um, here's where things can get a little tricky. When we draw from scratch, or if we draw um, the way, exactly the way things need to be, it's going to, um, you're going to need to be really precise on your wall thicknesses and things like that. For what we're doing right now, we're just kind of getting a feel for um, uh, floor plans and creating houses and things like that. We're not going to be worrying about quite as many details. So for now, I'm going to click an offset. I'm going to come in, and it's telling me that that's about nine. Where we see there, nine and three eighths. Let's make that an even nine, so that we can work with nice kind of square round numbers. <clears throat> you can see it cuts off a little bit there, but that's really not a problem. We'd rather have nice straight lines than we would be accurate to this particular drawing. <clears throat> I'm going to do a couple things here that maybe you guys haven't done before. We're going to create some layers. So I want to add one layer. And we're going to call the, um, we'll just call it image. And then I'm going to create a second layer. And we'll call that 3D geometry. And we haven't even brought in the image that we're going to put for this layer yet. But basically what I want to do right now is I want to select all this, minus Our Lady. I don't really want her in there. And <clears throat> how do we want to do this? Let's make this a group. And then let's go up to Entity Info. And right now it's on that zero layer. We want to put that in our 3D geometry. Because I selected everything, if I go over here now and uncheck it, it disappears. Now we're going to do something. We're going <clears> to... <throat> I'm sorry. I had to clear my throat like that. Let's bring in that same exact picture. Okay, so there it is. Second time it's asking me where I want to start it. We'll start it in the same place. And now we'll end it to our scaled size. All right. I'm not going to explode this one, but what I am going to do is go over here to Entity Info, and I'm going to add that to Image. And now, if I need to, I can easily um, get rid of that image. And to prove that to you, let's go ahead and get rid of... Oops, that's not the one I wanted to do. Oh, I had it as a group. So I just double clicked it to change it and I deleted the whole group on accident. Now that I'm in the group, I can, I'm going to delete this so that you don't see that. And what I want you to be able to, let's get rid of that outside ring too. What I want you to be able to notice is I can take this away and I can kind of toggle between seeing everything. As we start drawing more and more things, it's going to become more and more necessary for us to kind of toggle and see that and then get rid of it. Sometimes we want it there and other times we do not. So for now, I don't want this layer. I'm just going to stick with, I'm going to uncheck my image, and I'm just going to stick with this box here and kind of begin our drawings here. First thing I've noticed <clears throat> already, double click this to work on it, is that they made this front wall a little bit um, kind of thinner. And not that I'm necessarily, we wouldn't do that if we were drawing a house, but let's try to stick to what their floor plan looks like. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, so now we should have a wall that goes all the way around 
If you want to check it, you can push pull it to see that it's getting all the way around and that's exactly what we want. And now we have to kind of continue um, just drawing our, our different um, interior walls and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster this time in terms of I'll do a couple of them to show you how it works. And then I will let you guys work on your own and I'll pick back up in the video here in a little bit. So I can see my walls right there. Um, for now, what I'm going to do is just start in this upper left-hand corner and start drawing these walls. I'm going to use a lot of guidelines, so that is T for the tape measure tool. As I want them all to make sure that the, the parallel to these exterior walls. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to come out here and I'm going to pay close attention to what my measurements are down here. I'm going to try to make them as accurate as I possibly can. And then let's make our interior walls all, yeah, let's call them five and a half. Okay, so there's that one done. Now, all I have is guidelines so far, but that's why I'm going to start. And then I'll go back in and fill them in a little bit later. Five and a half again. And five and a half again. So I'm kind of just lining them up as I go. And now you can see that I've got a little bit of a formation. So let's go ahead and um, we can use a rectangle tool, a line tool, whatever you prefer. And I'm just doing these interiors of these rooms. And now I need a line tool to close them all off. And just to finish this one room out, I normally would keep going with all these lines for all the other rooms, but just so that you guys can get a feel here, you can see that this room is now separate from this room, from this room, and each doorway. Um, I guess it hasn't been separated yet, but the walls are separated. If I were to put some lines in here where the doors are, that was just to give you an example that now that <clears throat> doorway is separate from our different wall sections. I'm going to get rid of those because I wasn't very accurate drawing those, but <clears throat> you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pause the recording. And I'm just like I drew all these walls here, I'm now going to do the same thing for all the walls around the rest of the house. And we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back here just to show you now. Uh, I have not filled in any of these other rooms with real lines, just with my guidelines. And your drawing is going to look crazy. There will be guidelines everywhere. And what I would recommend doing is deleting the guidelines as you go from room to room. Um, if it doesn't bother you, you can keep going. You can leave them there and delete them all at the end. Whatever works for you. Uh, now I did this room. So let's kind of just work our way from left to right. So now we're into the kitchen. <clears throat> and I had not finished this wall. So let's just bring that one all the way across until it hits our good line there. Got a little discrepancy there, so let's trim that to right there. Then we can delete that line and keep going. Okay, so that wall's done now. <clears throat> that will make it easier for me to kind of work on that kitchen. Always being very careful to get the intersections. And stay on my axis. That was red and then green. Now I'm red again. Making sure I'm getting these. You can click on one at a time if you want to check it. And then go back to work. Sometimes your lines overlap and it gets confusing. So you can always just click five and a half. So that's the one I want to hit escape there. I'm just double checking it. Making sure I get the lines I want. This one goes all the way across the house. So I'm going to fill that in. 
Some of you, instead of working left to right, may want to do these, you know, big ones first. So there's a little discrepancy again. So I'm going to go with the major line, not the little skinnier line there. Fill that in, erase that. You'll come up with your own systems. And I'll show you how to check it and make sure you get it in the end. Okay, so I think you get it. I'm going to pause the video again. And then you can kind of keep filling the lines in. And I'll pick back up with you in a minute. Okay, so now we're back. And I've actually made uh, the real lines on top of my guidelines. But I want to do some checking to make sure that I got everything that I need. One way to do that is to push-pull. You can see here my outside section comes up. And right now I'd have to check every single wall all the way through because of the way we drew our lines. So that's not really going to be beneficial. So we're going to do a little bit of painting at this point. So I hit B for my bucket tool. And I'm just looking for a pretty light gray. You can choose any color you'd like. But I want to fill in over my drawing. Okay, now this is not the end of the world. That we're covering these up. We can always go back, redraw our doors in, um, all that stuff. We're not losing everything right now. This is simply to help us make sure we don't have stuff like this. Okay? So, undo that. Get that one again, and we'll bucket it. And... You know, maybe I want to change that. Maybe we should put our doors in first before we start painting. So let's go ahead and undo our paint. And let's go back in and add our door. So I'm going to grab Line Tool. And I'm going to kind of start doing this type of thing. And for this drawing, I'm not going to worry too much about the size of my doors. I'm just going to try to hit my image, what my image looks like. When we draw our real houses later on, we will try to be more accurate on our doors. For now, we're just going to stick to the um, image that we've got here. So again, I'm going to pause it. You can finish this up on your own, drawing all the doors in. Okay, I've got my draws, <laughs> draws. I've got my doors drawn in now. And if you ever want to check that, you can just hit the um, push-pull tool, which is the P. And as you just hover over things, you can see them all change. And you want to see each door become its own section. So you can see as I move it around, each little section highlights for the door, not the whole entire thing. And if I hover on the walls, I shouldn't see the doors get highlighted. Now, I only did interior doors. Let's not do anything in the exterior for the sake of this drawing. And we'll be able to you come back in and add those at any time later on. But for now, we're going to leave it just like this. Um, so now let's grab our paint bucket tool again. So I hit B for paint bucket. Go back over here and get my paint. And now let's start filling in some walls. All my exterior walls highlighted. And let's fill in all of our walls. Being careful not to get doors. Okay, I think I got all my walls. Whoops. Missed a little section there. Painted all my walls. And now let's get rid of our guidelines. So I can go up to edit. Delete all my guidelines. And now we get a better feel for how our house is kind of looking. <coughs> While still, let me get rid of this one. While still only looking at the 3D geometry, notice I still have the image unchecked. What I want to do now is get rid of what I see in here. So I'm just going to hit delete. Delete. So I select it and hit delete, select, delete, select, delete. You get the idea. And so now I have, this is all I'm left with. Um, if you want to paint the doors a different color, you can bucket those in for now. 
But what I'm more concerned about is just being able to see these lines. If I can't see them, that's when I want to paint them. So I'm going to go ahead and paint them all just that same color gray. Okay. And now let's go ahead and close this section for now, this group. So I've got kind of this plain, boring looking house. Now if we go over here though and check this layer for image, everything that I just deleted comes right back into play. But now what I've added is the ability to see very easily where these lines are. Now we want to clean it up. So we're going to grab our erase tool. I just hit E. Whoops, I forgot that that's a group. So I have to double click it before I start editing it. Now I double clicked it and hit E. I don't want to delete doors. I just want to meet, I want all my walls to connect. So I'm just getting all those walls set up so that they're all kind of inner, intertwined there. You got to be careful so you don't get any of the doors. Almost feels like Pac-Man or something, doesn't it? A weird game. And this will take a second. I click and drag over the lines. That's what works for me. Maybe you'll try to click right on them. Whatever you prefer is fine. So what I'm going to try to do now that I've got all my walls hopefully interconnected is I'm going to push pull a wall and hopefully the whole, all the walls come up with me and none of the doors. So I hit push pull P and I'm literally just clicking anywhere because I want to check it out and make sure I don't have any mistakes and then I'm going to undo that. I think we're okay here. I'll probably catch one as soon as I start the next part of the video here. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to undo that, Control Z. And now I've got that flat image, and that is kind of what we're looking for through this whole thing. Okay, um, so I'm going to pause the video here, and then in just a second we'll get started with our next step. So now our last uh, kind of and final step would be to fill in the walls, and I'm going to open up that group again. So let's go ahead and pull those up to nine feet. That's what our house is going to kind of look like. Could add the porch and the patio later if you wanted. To draw the doors in, all you've got to do is fill those in. Grab a tape measure tool. Did that come with me? And I believe we want to go to seven feet. There's that. A line. Oops. And push pull it back out of the way so it clears out. And a couple more edits and that would be good to go there. And maybe you'll find a faster way to do those doors. That's totally up to you. Um, you can fill in all your doors. As a matter of fact, why don't you fill in all your doors? I'll let you guys do that however you want but we'll make them seven feet high and whatever the width was that we already drew in place. Fill in your doors and your arches and then that will complete this drawing for now. We're not going to go ahead and dimension this one because we already have our dimensions in here. Our dimensions are given to us um, by having that image under here. If this wasn't here, maybe we'd, maybe we'd have to add dimensions, but since we have that image with us, we'll just keep it for now and this will work perfectly for um, what we need. All right.